good morning everybody this is uh, shek kasim zhps telabelli as a part of online classes i am here to talk about uh, one of the sixth units one of the sixth units of uh, class 9th and i can offer civil rights passes c and uh, it is very clear that uh, the new pattern of textbooks uh, or dealing one particular issue as and highlighting the same and giving the maximum information related to. And in that part, uh, the sixth chapter um, <coughs> uh, stands for uh, freedom and uh, where uh, freedom rights, uh, freedom struggle movement, uh, civil rights and all these uh, have been uh, discussed. And here uh, uh, the passage C, sixth chapter passage C, an icon of civil rights, uh, uh, is of uh, the speech made by Martin Luther King at the time of receiving Nobel Prize Prize uh, uh, Oslo. And the Nobel Prize is awarded on, ten, on every 10th of uh, December um, and uh, you know, Oslo. And uh, as a representative of the masses and is uh, take, <coughs> receiving this and at the time of receiving and uh, uh, is explaining how powerful uh, the civil rights movement uh, uh, and the other freedom movements in different countries of the world and how they could uh, uh, succeed. And uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, in this, uh, freedom means, means uh, when uh, a particular class of people are deprived or uh, are suppressed and, um, and uh, deprived of uh, certain uh, rights, uh, they struggle for uh, uh, getting the same. In that uh, moment, uh, uh, two categories of people will come onto the screen, that the writers and the uh, speakers. The writers will be writing their opinion and expecting the future and how um, the state of uh, the people should be. And uh, being the same to the notice of the people uh, try to change and motivate and mobilize and bring them as a part of the movement. Whereas, uh, suppose uh, it takes it takes a certain time. It takes time. Whereas uh, the speakers are uh, the more powerful uh, compared when compared. You see, the speakers will be moving from place to place, mobilizing the people wherever necessary, gathering the large number of people and realizing them with a, the expected uh, explaining the uh, goals and how. Uh, the, how beautiful they are and how they are going to achieve. And after uh, achieving, how uh, happily they will be leading. And by uh, <clears throat> presenting all these, uh, uh, more number of people are uh, motivated and uh, mobilized. And here, an icon of civil rights uh, by Martin Luther King also gathered the mass people and he demanded for the freedom. Uh, rights, right? Certain rights like uh, brotherhood, peace, harmony, and uh, he also says that uh, free uh, body, uh, food uh, is needed, and mind, education, health, uh, and uh, for spirit, dignity, and all these. Uh, these are the minimum common uh, needs uh, uh, every state government uh, uh, will have to provide, and uh, there must not be any. Uh, <clears throat> discrimination discrimination so uh, because uh, all are equal before law and uh, whereas in certain countries like america and africa this is not possible only uh, the racial racial discrimination is followed where certain class of people especially black and the white um, uh, the whiter uh, privileged group and advantageous group every right is provided for them every facility is provided for them where uh, the white people will become the rulers and the ruling and the black people, dominating the black people and uh, enjoying all this. Then the black people will be suffering uh, out of that, uh, out of their black people's suffering, the white people will be enjoying out of that um, and <clears throat> expecting uh, the equality, uh, some freedom movement. And we too in India, um, some white people uh, uh, advantages to groups who ruled over this and uh, to get our rights uh, as to be uh, our uh, ancestors uh, <coughs> took part in the freedom struggle and Mahatma Gandhi, Jawaharlal Nehru 
Vallabhai Patel, Netaji, Subhash Chandra Bosch, and like many other leaders uh, took part in the national movement and uh, uh, could be successful with uh, only, not with the weapons, but uh, the weapon of uh, uh, love, uh, peace, and uh, harmony, and uh, that is called non-violence. And uh, Mahatma Gandhi's non-violence weapon uh, achieved uh, freedom uh, and uh, also uh, as a stood as a guide uh, and uh, ideal uh, to most of the world. And if we uh, go, this is uh, an icon of civil rights by Martin Luther King. And we could see the picture of this and uh, Martin Luther King, an icon of civil rights. And uh, Martin Luther King was born on 15th January 1929 in Atlanta, in Georgia, United States, and died on 4th April 1968. Uh, uh, 1939, very, uh, very young age, 39 years, Memphis and Tennessee, and the same Tennessee. <laughs> Inspired by the ideology of Mahatma Gandhi and his weapons of non-violence, peace, protest for the common good. You see, what is the common good? Everyone must be treated equal, that is common good, and the peace and non-violence. As we told already, non-violence. Without weapon, whatever that is uh, desired, it must be uh, achieved and uh, demanded for equal rights for the blacks, especially the black and the white, uh, <clears throat> and demanded for desegregation of the race, segregation, the separation of uh, two races, the black and the white. It is up, opposed. And uh, the king participated in the, and uh, led uh, <coughs> marches of uh, black right to vote. You see, right to vote is the minimum common um, quality, common. Um, <coughs> uh, uh, that is, suppose in India, we, we people, um, uh, those who attain 18 years of age, caste, creed, religion, um, gender, we don't go by any of these. Everyone, those who attained it, 18 is given vote, right to vote, that is franchisee. And desegregation, segregation is a separation of who? Two, the black and the white. It should not be separated. Labor rights, some labor rights, the basic civil rights. In late 1955, Montgomery bus boycott and uh, later became the first president of the Southern uh, Christian Leadership Conference. As president of uh, the SCLC, he led the unsuccessful Alabama, Albany movement uh, in uh, Albany, Georgia, and helped reorganize, reorganize helped organize some of the non violent uh, 1963 protests in Birmingham, Alabama. King helped organize the 1963 March, Washington, March on Washington, where he delivered his famous I have a dream speech on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial. Now the present uh, um, the passage is an exact speech of what uh, the King uh, delivered on this. And uh, to know that, uh, and we also uh, know um, <coughs> there are many powerful speakers uh, those who achieved their targeted goal. And that uh, we come to know uh, Nelson Mandela, South Africa, and Barack Obama, one of the presidents of United States, recent uh, America, United States of America, and Mahatma Gandhi speeches. And there are a number of uh, um, leaders, those who could uh, only inspire a greater number of, large number of people to uh, <coughs> struggle for the common good. And, uh, this is uh, Martin Luther King's uh, acceptance speech on the occasion of uh, the award of the uh, <clears throat> Nobel Peace Prize in Oslo. See how it starts on 10th December. You see, uh, as I told you, the 10th December, uh, the Nobel Award is uh, Nobel Prize is um, uh, awarded to the uh, eligible uh, members, Nobel laureates. And, uh, and your majesty, your royal highness, Mr. President, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, you see how it starts. I accept the Nobel Prize for Peace at a moment when 22 million Negroes of the United States of America are engaged in a creative battle to end a long night of racial injustice, you see. See, battle in the sense battle results the destruction, but here it is not the battle which results in destruction, but uh, in construction. It is a creative battle, it is not an ordinary battle where the number of people will be damaged. But here it is because they are not using any weapon, they are going by non violence because it is a creative battle. And I accept this award on behalf of a civil rights movement which is moving with determination and a majestic scorn for 
uh, risk and danger to establish a reign of freedom and the rule of justice. You see, reign of freedom and rule of justice are the two parts here. You see? see, this struggle movement is for rule of justice, means everyone is equal before law. I am mindful that only yesterday in Birmingham, Alabama, our children crying out for brotherhood were answered with fire hoses, snarling dogs, and even to death. A, there, uh, we could also find there are some protests against the government, uh, government issues uh, where uh, how the government takes part, how the, the government or the authorities try to suppress this movement. I am mindful that only yesterday Birmingham, Alabama, our children crying out for brotherhood only answered with fire hoses, snarling dogs. See, they demanded not for anything, but only brotherhood and equality. And they also already, they all uh, sometimes put to death. I am mindful that means I know it is very clear that only yesterday in Philadelphia, Mississippi, young people seeking to secure the right to vote were brutalized and murdered. You see, they did not ask more. They just they asked for right to vote. They were murdered. Only yesterday, more than 40 houses of our ship in the state of Mississippi alone were bombed and burned because they offered a sanctuary to those who would not accept segregation. Segregation means a separation. Separation of black and the white is not accepted. So the moment which opposes the segregation, just they, uh, they took as a force, so they gave a shelter for them thinking the cause of giving shelter to the desegregation people, yes, they were mad. I am mindful that the debilitating and the graining poverty afflicts many people and change them to the lowest rung of the economic ladder. And this is one of the other problem that <coughs> um, uh, <coughs> economic, financial um, inequalities will also bring a, um, <coughs> a change. Uh, therefore, I must ask why this prize is awarded to a movement which is beleaguered and committed to unrelenting struggle to a movement which has not won the very uh, essence of uh, the brotherhood which is the essence of uh, um, the Nobel Prize. You see, brother, essence of the Nobel Peace Prize, the brotherhood, fraternity, equality should be there. You see, and after contemplation, I conclude, even after discussions, after uh, I conclude that this award is which I receive on behalf of that movement uh, is a profound recognition that nonviolence is the answer to crucial political and moral question of our time. The need for man to overcome oppression and uh, violence without resorting to violence and oppression. See, there is oppression and there is oppression, but uh, it must be uh, violence, but we don't go by violence and we go only by uh, nonviolence and uh, we expect the same expected goal. And civilization and, non and violence are antithetical concepts. The civilization, civilized, fast, polished, sophisticated, and those who don't go by uh, weapons and all these things. And violence is the one which uh, afflicts, which affects uh, and uh, endures, uh, uh, kills a uh, number of people. These are two different issues. But we go by only um, non-violence, the civilized one. Negroes of the United States of uh, following the couple of the people of India have demonstrated that nonviolence is not a sterile passivity but a powerful moral force which makes uh, for a social transformation. Mm. Nonviolence is uh, one of such a powerful thing. It is not a passive one. Suppose someone is uh, coming to beat us, just uh, we don't uh, defend him. We don't defend him. Further, we try to convince him why he wanted to beat us. You see, sometimes maybe maybe aggressive to uh, to take action, to get to take action. But after some time, certainly he will think uh, that way. Nonviolence will be more powerful. Sooner or later, all the people of the world will have to discover a way to deal, way to live together in peace, and thereby transform this pending cosmic energy into a creative sum of brotherhood. You see, one day, of course, if not now, certainly in future, we'll all live um, with peace and harmony and brotherhood. If this is to be achieved, a man must evolve for all human conflict and uh, a method which rejects revenge, aggression, and retaliation. The foundation of uh, such a method is love, the tortuous road which has led 
which has led from Montgomery, Alabama to Oslo, bears witness to this truth. This is a road over which millions of Negroes are traveling to find a new sense of dignity. This uh, same road has opened for all Americans a new era of progress and hope. It has led to a new civil rights bill and it will, I am convinced, be widened and lengthened into a superhighway of justice as Negro and white men in increasing numbers create alliances to overcome their common problems. You see, it is the movement which led to civil rights bill. You see, the idea of uh, civil rights uh, is brought to the notice of the government means which is half success of the movement and certainly we convince and uh, the authorities and we get the same. I accept this award today with an abiding faith in America and an audacious faith in the future mankind. I refuse to accept despair. You see, I don't, in any way, I don't accept refuse. I don't uh, accept despair, um, hopelessness as a final response to the ambiguities of history. I refuse to accept the idea of that isness of man's present nature makes him morally incapable of uh, reaching up the eternal artness of that forever confronts him. Suppose a uh, present may not be immediately taking but, uh, but certainly they will. And uh, uh, the, uh, I refuse to accept the idea that man is more floats Sam and just Sam in the river of life, unable to influence the unfolding events which surround him. See, man should not be uh, like a useless thing and it should be guiding, it should be making the people uh, <clears throat> inspire and influence uh, others and uh, take part in the uh, battle of freedom battle of civil rights movement. I refuse to accept the view that mankind is so tragically bound to the starless midnight and I don't uh, in any way permit uh, the mankind to go to a starless night, starless night, midnight of racism but war and that the bright daybreak of peace and brotherhood can never become a reality. And uh, I always go by peace, brotherhood and our and I refuse to accept the cynical notion that nation after nation must spiral down a militaristic uh, stairway into the hell of uh, thermonuclear destruction. I believe that the enormous truth and unconditional love will have the final word in reality. Unarmed, unarmed truth, is a truth is truth uh, without any weapon. An unconditional love, there should, it should not be, there should not be any condition for the love and it is a reality and that's why a right temporarily defeated in is stronger than evil triumphant this is why right maybe right may be temporarily defeated but it will be more strong comparatively uh, than the evil one i believe that even amid today's mortar bursts and uh, winning bullets there is still hope of uh, brighter tomorrow i believe that wounded justice lying prostrate on the blood uh, flowing blood flowing streets of our nation can be uh, lifted from this dust of shame to um, shame to reign supreme among the children of men. I have the audacity to believe that people everywhere can have you see uh, everywhere can have three meals a day for their bodies, education and culture for their minds, and uh, dignity, equality, and freedom for their spirits. You see how simple they are and how compulsory and how uh, <clears throat> badly they are needed, you know. Three times meal for body, education and culture for mind, the dignity, equality and freedom for the spirits. I believe that what self-centered men have turned down, men other centered can build up. I still believe that one day mankind will go before the altars of, you see, every man uh, will, will have to go before the altar, means altar of the God to be crowned triumphant over war and bloodshed and nonviolent rhythm to good uh, will proclaim the rule of the land. Certainly the day when only the law, only the <clears throat> right, only the truth will be ruling the world. And uh, the lion and the lamb shall lie down together and uh, every man shall sit under his own wine and fig tree and uh, none shall be afraid. I still believe that we shall overcome. You see, and uh, 
you know, a lamb is a, a soft, uh, weak um, animal, baby sheep, and the lion is a more uh, ferocious, cruel animal, and the king of the forest kills easily. And it should not be. The day when uh, these two will come together, means in the sense, they actually they will not come together. Here in the sense, maybe in the society, in the society, some people may be weaker and the others may be stronger, which is not, but by physical um, weakness or um, strong uh, physical weakness or strength, uh, but uh, there is a law supporting to the equal and uh, controlling the uh, stronger and uh, stronger people. So that is equality, uh, equality of law. And this faith can give us courage to face the uncertainties in future. It will give our tired feet new strength as we continue our forward stride toward the city of freedom. You see, suppose the idea, okay, we are struggling, we are working in a movement. See, the idea of uh, a result, idea of uh, a result uh, will make us, uh, will give us a uh, renew our energy and uh, we work with more dedication. When our days become dreary with low hovering clouds and uh, our nights become darker than a thousand midnights, we will know that we are living in the creative turmoil of a genuine civilization struggling to be born. Even if all the problems are surrounded and uh, we will be expecting the good and we'll be working for that because we are uh, <clears throat> working in the creative battle or genuine civil creating battle of creating genuine civilization today i come to oslo as a trustee inspired and uh, with the renewed dedication to humanity i accept this prize on behalf of all men who love peace and brotherhood. I say I come as a trustee for in the depths of my heart. I am aware that this prize is much more than an honor to me personally. I'm a, as a trustee, as a representative, uh, uh, as a representative, as a person who looks after everyone equally, I came here and receiving the same. Every time I take a flight, I am mindful. I am always mindful of the many people who make uh, a successful journey possible, the known pilots and the unknown ground crew. Suppose if any work is going on or any work is completed and the, uh, some people will be coming onto the front line and the others will be working uh, uh, for the development of that. And uh, it is not good only to look after the front line people. We should also expect the um, labor and we should also honor the labor of the background people, those who work. So uh, <clears throat> you honor the dedicated pilots of our struggle who have sat, who have uh, sat at the controls as the freedom movement soared into orbit. You honor once again Chief Latili of South Africa, whose struggles uh, with uh, and for his people are still met with the most brutal expression of man's inhumanity to man. You see, man's inhumanity to man, man not. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, animals humanity you see we are all human beings but uh, human being is uh, hunting or hunting or uh, suppressing the other human other equal fellow being and uh, you honor the ground crew without whose labor and the sacrifice and the jet flights in the uh, to freedom could never have left the earth uh, most of the people will never make the headline and their uh, names will not appear in the who is who. See, suppose uh, if we go by, um, <clears throat> suppose a movie is there and the hero, heroine, uh, villain, and all these people will uh, will be on the screen, and the uh, most of the um, viewers will be knowing only these figures. But as uh, the writer, we don't know the dancers, we don't know the. Uh, lyric writer, we don't know. The story writer is not known. The right director is not known. The producer is not known. There are number of uh, n number of uh, professionals who will be working for the uh, <clears throat> completion of that particular. But but only the viewers will be viewing the front line. Those who come, just like a pilot is uh, 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 flying the flight, flying the flight. But there is a number of uh, uh, mechanics, a number of uh, engineers will be. Uh, there to look after the uh, <clears throat> uh, functioning of that particular 
the same way most of the people will never make the headlines in their uh, names and they will not appear who is who because there are many issues there, there are many uh, issues that we can go by suppose whatever the work that is done the work is known and the only main person is come to the uh, screen but the others there are a number of other people we should also care for them and at when years have rolled uh, past and uh, when the blazing lights of uh, truth is focused on this marvelous age in which we live men and women will know and the children uh, will be taught that uh, we have a finer land a better people a more noble civilization because these uh, humble children of god uh, uh, who are willing to suffer for rituals necessary. See, rituals necessary, only right, what is right that is uh, required. See, they fight for right and which is true, whatever that is true, uh, that will be winning. You know? But uh, at the initial, at the beginning, uh, the whatever, whoever uh, support the right will be suffering a lot. But finally, even if we go in a movie, what happens? There will be uh, one party will be supporting the truth and the other will be evil supporters. So evil supporters are marked as a villain and uh, is a group. So uh, at the beginning, uh, who will be, uh, who will appear powerful, more powerful? Actually, usually the villain will be more powerful because uh, with all evil, he, he, look, uh, uh, he looks powerful, but uh, Finally, what, what will be the result? Finally, however the weaker, however the smaller, however the um, poorer the uh, uh, hero may be, he will be winning because he is, he is with the truth, with the reality, with the right. That only he will be successful. Any, even viewers and uh, viewers and audience will also supporting whom whom do they support? Even how powerful the villain may be, uh, a, a villain will not be supported by the people or the audience. Only the audience will be supporting supporting the hero because he is with the with the right with the truth because truth is honored and respected by all. I think Alfred Nobel would know what I mean when I say that I accept this award in the spirit of a curator of some precious heirloom which he holds in trust for its true owners. All those to whom beauty is truth and the truth beauty, and in whose eyes uh, the beauty of genuine brotherhood and peace is more precious uh, than diamonds or silver or gold. You see, uh, even uh, the word uh, beauty is truth and the truth beauty. Uh, these are the, these are the, this is the last uh, um, line of a famous poem, uh, <coughs> Word and Aggression, earned by uh, John Keats. Uh, last four lines. Uh, truth, uh, beauty is truth, truth, beauty, that all you know, you know, you know, on the earth. These are the uh, lines. See, whatever that is truth, that is beautiful, whatever that is beautiful is attracted and supported by all. That is, truth is supported and accepted by all sooner or later. That's uh, what. Uh, Beauty is truth and the truth beauty is quoted. And in whose eyes beauty of genuine brotherhood, you see, but a brotherhood, genuine brotherhood, genuine peace is more powerful, more valuable than diamonds and silver and gold. You see, with this, uh, the speech of Martin Luther King uh, concluded, and uh, a glossary is there, and uh, students better go by. A glossary or the whatever the difficult words that are there better you go by dictionaries available or um, uh, <clears throat> okay if um, with this glossary these words the students uh, not satisfied you can go by uh, dictionary and refer for more meaning okay and with this I uh, <clears throat> well, thank you thank you 
for uh, being patient to listen to uh, my class. Uh, okay, thank you.